All right, so welcome to the Average Asylum podcast that is currently unnamed, week two. And then we've got lots of people here today. You got Andrew from the UK. Hey guys. <laughs> um, Super Blah, aka Nick. Howdy. RTS, our newest and bestest mod ever. What's up, guys? And Chica. What's up, home dogs? That's right. And then everybody's favorite admin, Tapirius, and myself, Fizzy. So, let's get it started. Okay, so just like last week, I figured we might as well start off talking about any changes anybody's noticed in the metagame so far. Um, last week we pretty much covered the Latias and Ment's shift to Ubers and how uh, Water, Grass, and Fire pretty much just centralized as the new power in the metagame. So has anybody else noticed anything uh, emerging since last week? I haven't really had a lot of chance to battle. Well, personally for me, uh, since the water, uh, grass, fire core teams are just insane right now, I've been trying to move away from it so my teams aren't as predictable as everybody else's. Right. So, I mean, like, I'm, I'm starting to look um, deeper into the tiers for OU stuff. Um, things that people aren't normally seeing that can kind of combat, like... Any one, like any one of those types, something that can hit all three of those types is aces. So, like, I was running a um, like a life orb um, Nido King. Ah, yeah. We can hit everything, so why not? Personally, for me, I brought back Garabire, and uh, with with the Starmies and whatnot running around, it works. Pretty well. Um, you don't have to worry about like um, men's messing you up anymore, like switching in on your whatever it is and whatnot. But um, with men's gone, Gyarados is being used uh, slightly more, and uh, that means that Fire can back him up even better now. What moves that are you using on Fire now? Um, I'm using uh, the mixed extra belt set with um, yeah. Yeah. HP flamethrower, evil, and cross drop, and that hits all of your main threats. It's definitely the best set. Does he does he really need HP ice anymore though? Um, it's there for like uh, Flygon. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's like still that. pretty good. You know, you but are you really gonna keep Evire in on a Flygon? I mean. 99% of all Flygons in the game are scarfed, and they're going to outrun you in one hit KO with Earthquake guaranteed. Well, if you have that speed boost. Yeah. Yeah, but if they got the scarf and they're running Jolly. Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to outrun you regardless. Yeah. They're going to run out of That's true, yes. I'm see, Flygon's got base 100 speed, and e what, 90? 95, I think. Yeah. 95. Uh, I guess it's good to have anyway if you're, like, predicting switches. Um, I guess grass could work, too, if you're concerned about swampers. And... Yeah. Yeah. I'd be tempted to lean towards grass, I think. Yeah, when I ran E-Fire, I had uh, grass, but that was even before Mens went, but... Just personal preference and what your team needs to cover. Yeah. Anything else we are seeing in the metagame? How is the Life Orb Skeptile working for you? Like a monster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it really is. Like the Leaf Storm just destroys stuff. I mean, it's... I yeah. don't about the on you. I mean... It is good. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt. It was good before. It's still... It's still good now. I think it's not as a monster as it was before. Be just because it could take out Mence and stuff like that with the um, the pretty powerful Dragon Pulse, but um, uh. yeah, I'm seeing like a little less use for it, but it's still good. Yeah. Um, another thing, the 
uh, new the Raikou and Entei sets with the new moves they got work really well. well that's cool. um, we should probably talk about that a little bit because um, with Orsi or Raikou, it pretty much handles everything yeah. in OU. Yeah, right. yeah. Raikou should just be OU right now, yeah, especially yeah. right now. He can have perfect coverage. Now, NT, I'm still not sold on, but um, I think his fire, his flare blitz is just way too strong for NU. Yeah. Uh, extreme speed. Go back and kill. kill. It's a resistive. Well, also, you don't even need choice man because he can howl. Yeah. yeah. Slightly fast enough. Not well. to mention he has priority now, too. Yeah. But the only bad thing about the Flare Blitz and uh, Extreme Speed combo is Rock resists them both. That's true. And I mean, you can carry Earthquake on it, but how frequent do you see Earthquake on a Actually, set? you can't because he doesn't learn it. No, it doesn't. No. It'd be so much better if he could. Yeah. Yeah. But you could be like me and just put it on there anyways. <laughs> just throw uh, it on there as well. Yeah. The only other viable move that Entei can learn in a lot of physical set is Stone Edge. That's <coughs> yeah. Um, you, you could do things like Crunch if you want. If it gets Crunch. I think it's Crunch. If I think personally that I should it does not have crunch. All of the move sets because they, mm -hmm. like, like Lux, like Lux ready. They should definitely have. Well, Pikachu is departed. It shouldn't be an exclusive move only to Pikachu. And I think I think that's going to change in Generation Five. I think more things are going to get um, previously exclusive moves. Well, there is a new electric move that I believe is going to replace Bolt Tackle. Because there's another move, I was reading about it today, that I can't remember what it's called, but it does insane damage, but you get hit with recoil. So I think Volt Tackle will probably still stay exclusive on Pikachu, and everything else is just going to get this other move. It's probably like a special version of Volt Tackle. A wild bolt. Yeah, that. Yeah. So far, She Mama is the only Pokemon that is confirmed to know well, that's because that was the only one that's been shown with on it. Yeah. I mean, almost all the ones, that, the moves we know coming out so far are only known to be on the Pokemon that was shown using it in Korra Korra or whatever. Okay, so let's move on to, since we already started talking about black and white, we're going to go on to the, the major topic of black and white we're going to cover today because we don't want to cover it all, so we have more stuff to talk about later. So, let's go over some of the abilities, because I know these have been discussed at length in the ZAT by quite a few people. So, let's cover them for everybody who doesn't come to the ZAT on a regular basis. So, we have Illusion, which is Zoroak, or whatever, however the hell you say it's ability, to where it can change its appearance to the Pokemon in the number two slot of your party. Which is insane. That's true. It, it retains all of the ability or the stats and moves, EVs, etc. Like all that of the Pokemon that it has the ability to lose. But it appears as it's sending out a different Pokemon. Right. So it's going to be a big mind dump, basically. Yeah, it's it's um it's going to guarantee your, guarantee Zora goes Uber. It really is. Yeah, there's cuz there's no way to defend against it. Like what are you going to yeah, you, you no, got to no, guess what Pokémon it really is? With the broken abilities, there's also some of the kind of retarded ones like <laughs> Pigeon Heart. Um right, I was just going to go down the list of them so we could cover them all. Of all the ones yeah. that are known. Uh, and there's there's Pigeon Heart, like you said, and that prevents the Pokemon's defenses from being lowered. It's kind of like Keen Eye, but for defenses. 
Okay, well, another one of the new abilities is Encourage, and that boosts the, the power of your attacks, but it disables any secondary effects. We talked about that last podcast. It pretty much increases, it's like increasing the power of a Thunderbolt, but not giving you the ability for a Paralysis Hacks. Yeah, and I, I'm going to be in love with that. That's amazing. All right. Uh, first of all, the guy that learns it, Hi Hi Daruma, or however you were going to pronounce that. Um, yeah, the fire monkey looking thing. Yeah. First of all, he's a badass. He just looks badass. And then with like, a, and if that's what his ability really does, I'm in love. I am absolutely smitten. Because that is, I, I could do without all that. And uh, just have the boosted attacks, that'd be fine. Because most of the time, if, if you're running like a Thunderbolt, you're not banking on the Parahax anyways. You just want to do damage. Yeah, it's a free life orb. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, like flinching, burning, confusing, all that paralyzing, way. all that stuff is... Things like that. that. But the chance of getting that is really low anyway, so there's no point in being concerned about that. Right. Yeah. That's why I am smitten. With, let me try it again. Hi, hi, Daruma! Higher Japanese. So, another one is Earthquake Spiral. We covered that last time. It's on Meguruku or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's gonna the be hot. The thing. The ground dark mean. type, which I am in love with, personally. Boost, boosting your attack is if you, if you kill something. Yeah, when you knock something out, your attack Ooh. goes off the stage. Yeah, Talk baby. Easy sweeps. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be slow as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Just guessing, yeah. but uh, I'm sure there will be some way to get around it. If he gets, like... Oh, I was thinking earlier, last time I said, if he gets Pursuit, that's going to be awesome, because he can catch stuff on the switch out. But also, right. if he gets Sucker Punch... <laughs> Which yeah, I, I doubt be... I doubt they'll be that generous to us, but if he had both, it would be insane. Yeah, some of the other new ones are Turbo Blaze and Terra Voltage. I don't think it's currently known what those do, but they're on the two uh, new dragons, respectively the Fire and the Electric Type 1. So quite possibly could be something that increases their Fire and Electric Type attacks. We're not exactly sure yet. Yeah. Uh, there's also dust proof, which is nice because it uh, negates weather damage from like hail and sandstorm. No, that would be handy. I well, like especially that. if it's not on a an ice or a ground steel rock type, that would be awesome. Yeah, I like the Doesn't idea of that. Fable already do that. Like well, magic guard. Yeah, but magic guard's a lot different. There are more Pokemon that get Magic Guard now, though. At least one more, so far. <laughs> so there's that. There's Victory Star, which was just announced uh, more recently, if I'm not mistaken. For that that little crazy Pokemon. Vic- the Victory or Pokemon. The it's called. Yeah, the well, Fire Psychic. And it raises the accuracy of it and any of its partners in battles, which will be nice for the triple battles. And there's Herbivore, which just seems to be uh, the Grass-types version of... Whatever. What's Heatran's Flash ability? Fire. Flash Fire. Yeah, Flash but, uh, Fire. It's it pretty much a Grass-type move that... It raises your whole... Um... Attack stat, not just grass. Ooh. Yeah. Well, that would be nice. So your other attacks, like earthquake. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. 